Good morning, my children, and once again, welcome back to your English class, the class of the teacher Jacob. For today, my children, we're going to make an exercise that is part of your teddy book. So, if you want to work along with the teacher Jacob, you have five seconds to grab your book with the pages of today. I will show them in a few seconds on your pencil case. Recuerden, chicos, que si ustedes quieren trabajar junto con el teachercito Jacob, para realizar estas dos actividades es importante que vayan por su libro y por su estuchera. Vamos a contar hasta cinco para que ya lo tengan listo. One, two, three, four, five. Now, the activities of today are part once again of your teddy book and they are located right here. Page 49 of the family of the 40s and page 50. Now, once again, remember the teacher Jacob works on the whiteboard so you can appreciate better the results. Now, before we commence with the activities, let's have a review of yesterday's video, which was the topic, what is it? Remember, the word what is it in Spanish, que es, and according to the object that the person is showing to you, the person will have to say it's a. Antes de iniciar con nuestra actividad del día de hoy, vamos a hacer un repaso de lo que estuvimos trabajando el día de ayer. Recuerden chicos que el tema de ayer fue la pregunta what is it, que es, para esto recuerden que la persona que les está mostrando el objeto al que se refiere va a tener que contestar It's a y el nombre del objeto. For example, once again, this is an eraser. What is it? It's an eraser. Es un, uh, it's a marker, es un marcador. Once again, let's practice with this. What is it? It's scissors. The word scissors in Spanish, tijeras. What is it? It's a book. Okay? Remember, this question and answers you can practice it at home using the objects that are around you. Okay? Recuerden que esta pregunta y la respuesta ustedes lo pueden aplicar en casita utilizando los objetos que se encuentren a su alrededor. Objetos que nosotros ya sepamos como se dice en inglés. Porque recuerden que es importante que nosotros practiquemos esto de la forma correcta. Quiere decir completamente en inglés y la oración completa. What is it? ¿Qué es? It's a, es un o una, and the name of the object. Okay? Very good. So, let's continue with today's activities that are part of your teddy book. Now, for these activities, my children, we have to complete the words using the missing letters. Vamos a hacer estos ejercicios que vamos a realizar a continuación. Es, tenemos la palabra escrita pero nos hacen falta letras, así es que tenemos que completarlo con las letras que necesitamos para que la palabra esté en orden, esté completa, ¿ok? Now, how can, I, how can I tell what are the missing letters? By checking the complete word that is next to. ¿Cómo voy a saber qué letras voy a ocupar para completar la palabra? Aquí al lado... Tenemos ya las palabras completas. Recuerden que tenemos que ver letra por letra para ver cuál es la que falta. Ok? Very good. So, let's begin. For this activity, it's important that we work with the pencil because if we made a mistake, we can erase it. Ok? Recuerden, chicos, que para estos ejercicios de escritura es importante trabajar con lápiz porque si hay algún error, lo podemos borrar sin problema. Let's begin with page 
49. Vamos a empezar con la página 49. Remember, 49, 49, which is right here, this section. We have the word sister. Now, talking about members of the family, remember we had the father, the mother, the brother, the sister, and the baby. So, the word sister in Spanish, what is it? Hermana, very good. So, let's check the missing letters. We have letter S, excellent. Letter I of India, of glue. That's one of the missing letters. We write it. Then, we have letter S of Saul, letter T of train. That's another missing letter. We continue with letter E of elephant. We write it. And finally, letter R. And the complete word, it says sister, which in Spanish, hermana, a member of the family. Let's continue with number two. Ah, okay. I forgot to mention something. Under each one of the words, we have a sentence. Debajo de cada una de las palabras que estamos completando aparece una oración. I'm going to read it for you and then we're going to discuss it. What, is, what does it mean in Spanish? Voy a leer la oración y después vamos a ver, vamos a tratar de averiguar qué significa en español. ¿Ok? It says, My sister is a girl. My sister mi hermana is a girl, es una niña. Remember, we have boys and girls. Boy, niño, girl, niña. My sister is a girl. Mi hermana es una niña. Let's continue with number two. Once again, next two, we already have it in complete form. Ya la tenemos completa. Let's check letter by letter to see which one is missing. Letter H of hot dog. Letter O of Oscar. That's the missing letter. Letter U of unicorn. Letter S of Santiago. Right here, we write it. Letter E of Emiliano. And the word says house. Now remember, we already saw this topic before, parts of the house. The word house alone, casa. Remember, we already mentioned parts of the house. Each one of the rooms that compound our house, each one of them have, has their own name. Recuerden chicos que una casa está compuesta por varios cuartos. Cada uno de esos cuartos tiene su respectivo nombre. The bathroom, the place where we take a shower, baño. The bedroom, the place where we go to sleep, recámara o cuarto. The living room, the place where we watch the television, sala. The dining room, the place where we eat, comedor. And finally, the kitchen, the place where we cook. La cocina. Let's continue with the sentence that appears under it. It says, My sister lives. The word lives, vive. Pero no de que está viva y respira, inhala, exhala, no. Vive de que se encuentra en un lugar. Vive in a house, en una casa. My sister lives in a house. Mi hermana vive en una casa. Let's continue with the next sentence. Once again, the complete, the, the complete word, it says, letter P of Pedro, letter E of Elena, letter N of Nurse, letter C of Carlos, letter E, letter I, sorry, of Igloo, letter L, of lemon. The complete word, it says pencil. 
Now, pencil, it's part of the school objects, remember, in Spanish, lapis. Under the word pencil, it says, my sister, once again, the sister, my sister has a pencil. Mi hermana tiene un lápiz. Okay? Very good. Let's continue with the next sentence. It says, the missing letter, letter H of hot dog, letter A of Alan, letter T of tomato, and the word it says hat. Now, hat it's part of the family of clothes and it's an object that we put on top of our head. In Spanish, hat, sombrero. Recuerden que los sombreros pertenecen a la familia de la ropa. Okay? Very good. So, on their hat, we have the next word. Let's complete it. Letter B of pencil. Letter E of Elena and letter N of Nicole and the word says pen now pen as in the case with the pencil both of them are school objects the pencil in Spanish lapis pen in English pluma okay very good now the sentence says my sister mi hermana my sister has a pen. My sister has a pen. Mi hermana tiene una pluma. Okay? Very good. Now, let's change the page. Concentrate on page 50, second part of the exercise. Cambiamos de hoja, pasamos a la página 50, segunda parte de nuestro ejercicio, complete the words with the missing letters. For page 50, we have the word that is complete right here, the missing letters are. We have letter B of Brenda, letter A for Axel, the name of a boy, letter B of banana and letter Y of yo-yo and the word says baby now once again as in the case with the sister the baby it's a family member is the smallest family member of the five in Spanish bebe recuerden chicos que el bebe como en el caso de la hermana pertenecen a miembros de la familia, el bebé es el miembro más pequeño de todos, ¿ok? So, the sentence, it says, it's a baby. Remember, it's a, es un, it's a baby. Es un bebé. Let's continue with the second word of the second exercise. We have letter B of Brenda. Letter L, the missing letter, the letter of lemon, letter U, the letter of Ulysses, letter E, the letter of Enrique. The word it says color blue. Okay? Blue, remember, it's part of the family of colors. Now, an object that has color blue, it could be a shirt could be jeans, it could be a table, it could be a car. Most of the objects that we know can have color blue. Now, the sentence says, it's color blue, es color azul. Let's continue with the next word. Okay, here we have, here are missing two letters. Letter E of elephant. Letter Y of yo-yo. And once again, another letter E of Elena. The complete word, it says I. I like the letter. D 
this subject and the letter sounds the same. Now, here talking about the object I, it's a part of the body that appears right here. I. We have two eyes. I in Spanish, ojo. ¿Ok? Recuerden, chicos, también que ya estamos a punto, así poquito, de empezar con las partes del cuerpo. Por lo tanto, tanto en el ejercicio que hicimos ayer como el de ahorita, estamos viendo algunas palabras para que se empiecen a familiarizar con este nuevo tema. So, I, ojo. It's my eye. Es mi ojo. Under it, the complete word appears right here. Missing letters, letter B, of boat, letter O, of Oscar, letter O, of ocean, un océano, and letter K, of king, rey. The complete word, it says book. Now remember the book in Spanish, Libro, and the sentence says, it's my book, it's my book, es mi libro. And finally, the last missing letters, the, la, the last word, let's see the missing letters. Letter C of Carlos, letter U of unicorn, letter P of pink. And the word says cup. Remember, the cup, it's a trophy, it's a prize that we earn when we win something. Recuerden chicos que una copa es un trofeo, un trofeo o un premio que nosotros nos ganamos por algo. Maybe a race, maybe a game, or maybe an activity. Tal vez ya sea porque ganamos una carrera, un juego, o terminamos primero una actividad. Remember, for this, ordinal numbers, don't forget also to study them. También recuerden, chicos, que cuando trabajamos acerca de la copa, cuando hacemos un juego o un, ganamos un juego de mesa, nos referimos también a números ordinales. Recuerden que estábamos platicando un día de eso. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. Those were the ordinal numbers. And the sentence says... It's a cup. Es una cup. Very good. So, today's exercises weren't difficult. The only part, the important part here, it's to remember the name of the letters. Recuerden, chicos, que pues los ejercicios que realizamos el día de hoy no fueron difíciles, fueron sencillos. La parte importante de estos era que recordáramos las letras del abecedario. Recuerden, chicos, que aunque no veamos todo el tiempo números ni letras, eso no quiere decir que ya no las vamos a trabajar. Se dieron cuenta en el ejercicio de ahorita que es importante que sigan en casita repasándolas, estudiándolas. Recuerden también dedicarle unos cinco minutitos adicionales antes de dormir o antes de jugar o después de jugar a las actividades que nosotros veamos en clase de Chesito Jacob para que no se nos olviden. Recuerden que ya estábamos trabajando con material ya de niños grandes, números ordinales, letras del abecedario, oraciones, numeración del 1 del, del 0 al 100. Por lo tanto es importante que sigan trabajando, aparte de ver videos, aparte de realizar actividades, que sigan trabajando un poquito más en casita. So, before we finish with the class, my children, let's have the pronunciation exercise for the following objects. Remember, I say it first, repeat after me. Antes de terminar con la clase, vamos a hacer nuestro ejercicio de pronunciación. Recuerden, voy a decir primero la palabra, repitan después de mí con toda su energía para que los pueda escuchar. 
sister, hermana, house, casa, pencil, lápiz, hat, sombrero, pen, pluma, baby, bebé, blue, azul, eye, ojo, book, libro, cup, copa. Very good. So, that's it for today, my children. Once again, the teacher Jacob is very happy with all your support, your, your participation. Remember, it's very important that the topics of today continue practice them. We see you tomorrow. More exercises, more information, more new topics, especially prepared just for you. Take care. Goodbye.